Now, Kenyan taxi drivers who use hailing apps such as Uber are on strike to force operators to double fares. The drivers of Uber, Bolt and other taxi apps through the Umbrella Lobby Digital Taxi Forum announced the indefinite strike on Monday. Waweru Jamaica, the security uh, general of the Drivers and Partners Association of Kenya, says that the strikers want to better work in terms of a sustainable business model and the introduction of online taxi regulations. A statement urged people to plan accordingly to avoid any inconveniences. Let's get more on this from Kenyan journalist Cyprus Ombachi. Thanks for joining us on the program. So what more can you tell us about this strike? Good evening. The strike has been ongoing since morning and uh, general services have been affected all over the city and uh, Mombasa and Kisumu where the, the, <coughs> there is Uber and other digital operators of, uh, actually operate. And uh, we don't know how long it's going to take because uh, the claim, the MOU they had signed before with the, with the, with the employers is not, has not been honored. So we're still waiting. Well, Uber is actually one of the frequently used mode of transportation. How is this strike likely to affect commuters? Uber and uh, the other digital operators are widely used in Kenya. Uh, actually, I was walking around the city. You could see frustrations were, uh, by many users because uh, they are used to such kind of uh, services. Now they had to embark to traditional tax operators who are now, they, because they learned of the ongoing strike, they had to hike their, their prices. Uh, this has generally affected the services here and there. Those people running to, to and from their destinations, they can't go because uh, or they get late or they have to pay more. So the services are, are actually affected. Many commuters are, are kind of uh, affected in a way, one, one or the other. I can imagine the commuters being very frustrated. But what is the reaction like from the Ministry of Transportation concerning this? I mean, the government has yet to issue the government has yet to issue a statement regarding this uh, strike. But with them, they say the, they had uh, brokered a, a deal between the uh, the drivers or the operators and the the owners of the vehicle and the Uber or the other service providers. So they are just, uh, it's a wait and see game because uh, it is a free market and uh, you can't force people to, uh, to, to go into some business. Some, there was some argument that if you want to, if you don't want to operate Uber or another business here, you can venture into other traditional tax operations. So it's a really a wait and see game. All right, Kenyan journalist Cyprus Mbati, thank you so much for speaking to us on Network Africa.